All right, we're checking out the only game where you can throw a water droplet at the earth that weighs one bajillion times its normal mass and is also one bajillion Celsius. It's Universe Sandbox. So, um, before, there was a certain limit to how hot you could make something, but I kind of found a way around it. Let me take a moment to show you something. This is the moon. I feel kind of bad for it because it was just the first thing I clicked on. Now, as you can see, the moon has an average temperature of not very much. In Canada, this would kind of be average, but down here in Florida, everyone dies. Now, what would happen if, let's just say, you started multiplying it? You can see you get to 1,000 degrees Celsius, 10,000, the moon starts to turn into the sun, there's 100,000, a million. The problem is before you can get to an infinite number, it goes down to absolute zero. And then you have this. Do you know what this is? A depressed moon. Now, what you can do, however, is get to a stupid number like this. Here we go. Utilize the new atmospheric mass. Give it, I don't know, uh, one of the Earth's atmospheric masses. Come over here to the laser. Choose one that has a lot of zeros in it. Add more zeros. And then start shooting the laser at what you've made. Now you're going to notice that the numbers over here will start to do whatever the hell they want. This is exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> now you can see this over here and you'd say, but great, that doesn't really seem like that much temperature. What is that, like 291 million? That's like rookie numbers. Now you don't seem to understand. That's not where the numbers end. <laughs> So after you have your, whatever, 42 trillion degrees Celsius, just adding a little bit more because I can. Uh, so now we have whatever that number is. Now we can go ahead and throw this at the earth. Go ahead and slow things way the hell down and yeetily deed it. Gotta speed this up before it loses all of its energy. Start off at one light speed, nice and slow. And here we go. See right now, the earth is like, why am I already getting skin cancer? Oh, you must not know. Touchdown. All right, so let's go ahead and just take a moment over here. We'll see how much, oh sweet Jesus. <laughs> I was gonna see how much heat was transferred to the Earth. The answer is a little bit. Now remember, we're at the size of the moon here. I have to see if I can make this work with just a single droplet of water. The good news is, is that the Earth is still mostly made out of silicate. The bad news is, is that silicate is now a gas. I like how it's still giving Earth a chance. It's like, ah, eh, someone could still be alive. I'd like to take a moment to mention that the Earth right now uh, has a liquid water depth of that. Now, 95,000 might not look like very much, but um, look at what the measurement is. Now, if you want something a little bit more obvious, it's uh, that many suns in liquid water depth. Now, obviously, I do have to let the moon finish up here just to see if Earth, oh, Earth now has balls. Or actually, it's turned into Mickey Mouse. This is amazing. This wasn't really my intent, but I'm really glad I did it now. See, if you look like this, it might get you demonetized. But if you look like this, see, it's fun for the whole family. All right, here, moving onward. The Mickey ears fly off into space. And I imagine that the Earth will eventually cool down here. Just kind of watch as different particulates, that being most of the souls of the damned, fly off of the planet. It is now pooping out most of its extra atmosphere that was given to it by our gigantic moon death. And we should be, go ahead and crap. All right, now that we have a brand new earth, oh, look at that, we've luckily stopped right on Japan. We can go over here, we can make our water droplet. Start with a template of the moon. Then we have to, I actually don't know how big a water droplet is. Hey Google, how big is a single raindrop? According to Hypertext book, uh -huh. raindrops generally have a diameter greater than 0 0.5 millimeters. They range in okay, size I... up to about three millimeters. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I don't need to know their entire history, thank you. All right, so we're not working with much here. Half of a millimeter, just do that, there we go. All right, now that the moon is looking slightly more cancerous, like that, it's also vibrating very wildly when I start to move it. Go ahead and save it real quick, okay. So first things first, we have to turn the entire composition to water. There we go. Then we have to give it an atmosphere. Ah, uh, we did one Earth last time. Let's do, I'm just gonna, just gonna do that. There we go. It's always good when your freezing point has an E in it. Now what we can do is start messing with the mass while locking in the size. Now the best part is normally this would just turn into a black hole, but because we've given it a bullshit amount of atmosphere, we can do this. <laughs> oh, hey, now it actually looks like a drop of water. It's a drop of water that's framed in blood. Now that we have various numbers of stupidity. Okay, we're gonna put the speed up to one light speed, and now we have to heat this thing up. Take our galactic laser, give it 
the old yeetily deet. And now you may say to yourself, Great, how hot is Sailor Moon right now? Whatever this number is, except the number keeps kind of going. It's, it's that number there. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and let this fire at the earth. I appreciate that right now we are firing one half of the ocean at the earth. Go my son. Now, fortunately, I think that most of Japan will be spared. As you can see, our, our one drop of rain has turned into a light from the heavens. It's not even shaped like a droplet anymore. It's just like a small piece of plasma. Oh my God. If you want, go ahead and take a moment to recognize that a fortune cookie is raising up from the ocean of the earth. The earth, which is now that many degrees Celsius. I have to, oh my God. I was curious, you know, how much different some of the temperature is. I like that you can live on the north side of Jersey and it's five degrees Celsius. Very nice, you know, and then across the street, it's uh, whatever that number is, right? Whatever that one there. It's at 3.7 billion degrees Celsius. Seems legitimate. All right, let's go ahead and move things along here. Now, luckily the earth is cooling down. It's taking this quite well. The total water mass is infinite. Hold on, if the water mass is infinite. Okay, surface temperature, a lot. Okay, maybe, maybe Japan is gone. This is what I was looking for. Liquid water depth, positive infinity times the Milky Way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and then, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let this continue onward here for a little bit. Like I said, you never know. The Earth is incredibly resilient. Okay, couple of seconds moving by now. The ghostly phallus of sadness is slowly peeling away from the Earth. Oh, it's changing color. Before it just looked like a Q-tip, but now it's starting to look like a delicious cheese doodle. Oh, crap. And the earth just vaporized. I'm not gonna lie, an ultra hot droplet of water is possibly the most powerful thing I've ever destroyed the earth with. Let's add more zeros. In fact, I'm gonna have to see if it can destroy other stuff. Like maybe we can destroy the sun with it. All right, go ahead and throw no survivors in there. Go ahead and stupidly increase the mass by a lot. I'd like to mention that right now, that one little half a millimeter speck has the mass of 65 oceans. Make it all water. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go real crazy this time. Here we go. Galactic super laser. Go! All right, we're left with whatever stupid number we have. And just because, we'll go ahead and move this up to uh, 100 light speed. Here we go. Now then, if we're lucky, Earth will finally get some of the damn rain we've needed. I do appreciate that now the water droplet, it hasn't actually turned into a black hole. It's just lost its texture. <laughs> it's just a glowing textureless mass. I just noticed too that I haven't tortured Australia in a while. I'm sorry. All right, let me slow down so we can get a nice view of the impact here. Go ahead and move back slightly. And here we should happen. Oh my God. Okay, I had to pause because that was totally the opposite of what I thought was going to happen. This is interesting. Instead of transferring all of the heat and making the earth one gajillion degrees, it flash froze half of the earth. I love how the big difference here is that you have green absolute zero and like red absolute zero. The liquid water depth is 1.1 million times Jupiter. That's excellent. You have ice thickness of 69,000 times the Earth. All right, I'll go ahead and let things move on here just to see if uh, anything else will happen. The Earth clearly got knocked off of its axis. The Earth is now starting to spew out some gases and that's it. The Earth is so relatively fine that there could still be people living there. Maybe the idea is you want the rain droplet to move slower when it's that hot. All right, in order to test this theory, I'm gonna do something I never normally do. I'm going to slow no survivors down. I almost feel dirty doing this. All right, so I have to move this thing like incredibly close to the Earth. Okay, now that it's super close to the Earth, we're gonna slow it way down to a mere one-tenth light speed. How much mass? Yes. Atmospheric mass. I'm gonna put in numbers until I get tired. Here we go. Ah, the freezing point is now positive infinity. That's what I like to see. Give it the disco power! Now you may be saying to yourself, but Gray, how hot is this single droplet of water? Uh, 1.4 billion degrees Celsius. You know what? That's actually not enough. There, 2.1 billion degrees Celsius. All right, go my son. Ah, yes. And like a small glowing sesame seed of death, our comparatively slow moving, ultra hot, single water droplet will soon impact the earth. And here 
we go. <laughs> I find this interesting. It just looked like it vacuum packed the earth. Everything just crunched downward. Anything really change here? I don't know, everything, everything seems okay. Go ahead and speed things up here just to make sure that the vacuum packed earth kind of continues to do whatever it's going to do. Oh, there's a little fiery area that just happened. There's a wave of insta-death kind of taking over all of the land. That's nice. I mean, I did throw like 64 oceans worth of water at the earth, so there is that. All right, um, I can, what the hell? I was gonna say, I can start speeding things up, but time has completely frozen. Uh, I've actually never seen this happen before. Okay, I don't know, time, time is at least moving now. Hold on, now that I can actually speed things up. Come on. Anything? Well, all right, I told, I should have known. Slowing things down never works out well. Okay, so I guess what we're gonna have to do is go back. Whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. What the, what the hell? Crap, I'm like lost in the death sphere. What the hell took you so long? <laughs> what is this? Like every Floridian on earth just had a year of destroying their liver because the earth decided not to do anything about the death it was supposed to experience. So now we're doing 16 seconds a second. I still don't actually know what the earth has done. What the hell? The earth is vaporized from the inside. <laughs> Look, there's actually nothing there. You can actually see through the earth. The landmass, the skin of the earth is still there, but the inside is gone. I think we just legitimately cored out the earth. Uh, I guess I'll keep going. I've never done that before. I've never taken the earth's yoke away from it. Okay, now the rest of the earth is kind of slowly vaporizing. There is the horizon of death. Yeah, the earth just poofed. We may have hollowed out the earth, but there's still the one final boss, the sun. Usually I leave the sun out of things because it's a real pain in the ass to kill. We're probably gonna have to pull out all the stops for this, but I'm not stopping until we destroy the entire known galaxy. All right, no survivors, put it down. I need to shove as much mass in here as humanly possible. Okay, right now there is 240 oceans worth of mass in a half millimeter sized rain droplet. All right, we need to bring this as close as possible to the sun so it doesn't just get vaporized before it hits. I imagine while I'm doing this, the sun is like, no. <laughs> Hold on, I can I can actually bring this down to kilometers. All right, this is as close as I can get before the game gets pissed off. Speed, we're going for the magic number. Half light speed. Atmospheric mass. Yes! Oh, I landed on plus 69. That was totally unplanned. All right, luckily the freezing point is now at positive infinity. All right, total water mass. Let me just save this. Okay, I've got the total water mass as not a number. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Oh my God, I actually made the water bar disappear off of the game. It doesn't exist anymore. The amount of water is positive infinity of the Milky Way. This is this is the most powerful rain droplet that was ever born. All right, this is it. More, more. Okay, it's as slow as we can get. You know what time it is. Do it. Okay. Holy crap, that was a lot faster than I thought it would be. Okay, my son, you know what you must do. What the hell? <laughs> Go, my child. Go. See, this is actually working out perfect because if you do too many light speeds, you don't actually get to see what the hell happens because it moves too damn fast. All right, now we can probably speed things up just a little. Okay, now it's starting to, starting to move kind of quickly here. Okay. An infinite, not a number, positive infinity amount of water versus the sun. One tiny water droplet. Oh, hold on. Oh, I actually can't slow down anymore. I'm as slow as I can get. Go! Whoa! Where the hell? Where did all the planets go? Okay, Mercury is way out here. Oh my god. It flew away from this. It. 1.42 plus 26 light speed. <laughs> Hold on, can I even see sat? Okay, there's Mars. Mars is 1.53 to 23 light speed. 
And in the end, it ate the sun. And now it's moving at 403,000 times light speed. But there actually is a little bit of water on the sun now. Oh, we finally got to see what happens when we fire a droplet of water that has all of the entire mass of known existence in it at the sun. Everything runs away at 7 plus 23 light speed. <laughs> anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.